Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a advanced tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, surface modeling tutorial of this Supra car. All right. Uh, let's just have a look at the uh, the Z the surface analysis. Let's look at these stripes. Uh, there you go, you can see how it looks, how it blends together. And let's turn that off. And we can go press Shift Control C to see the um, graphs for the surface. Uh, the side here doesn't look, doesn't run too smooth, but um, everywhere else it looks good. All right, let's just get started. Okay, so uh, let's make a new tutorial first. We're gonna set up the blueprint, and and then after we are going to make the three D model. All right, so um, first you need to get a blueprint, and I'll just quickly show you how you cut it. All right, so um, you get a full picture, uh, download it, save it to your computer. All right, what you do is um, you can use a snipping tool to cut it up. You need to cut it up. All right, we're going to use a snipping tool in Windows. Uh, click new, click new, and you're going to um, cut around the car like this and save that so save this and name it uh, side view um, all right let's go open that again and then you go ahead and snip the front view side back view save that one and then you go new and snip the back and the top, you need definitely need the top as well. Um, all right, so drag this up, make sure it's 100%, snip that up. And then once you have your all three pictures and you get it on shape here. Um, all right, so to put a picture in, you go sketch, click on, um, we'll do the front view first. All right, so this button here, it's a document, you go insert image and uh, we need to in, in, up, import the image. So for the front wheel, we'll load the front uh, picture. All right, so uh, we just draw a rectangle. All right, what we need to do is dimension this to be 100. then you need to move it into the middle um, all right so we're gonna dimension from here this should be around 50 i mean actually it should be around maybe 80. all right let's get that to the middle by typing 75 so type your number set it right in the middle so this is 77 all right and then we're going to move this down to the bottom all right, we go dimension to here uh, so minus two all right so that's 100 we accept all right another thing we do is we uh, just click on the planes and just Keep it around the picture and click away to deselect. All right, um, let's do this quickly. Uh, go sketch and put a right um, picture on the right view. We're in sketch view now. And we go to document, insert image and import the side view picture. 
All right, I'm going to right click, click on normal two views to make it flat. All right, we're going to put the picture here and we're going to dimension this. So we want all the heights to be the same. So the proportions are the same. All right, so we want the tie to touch the bottom, bottom. So put in minus two, there you go. And we're gonna go dimension, put this. Okay, let's make it minus five. All right, so we try and line up with the car and that looks good, we accept. And then we move this uh, plane, adjust the corners to sit around the picture. And we'll just do one more, we don't need to do the back, don't worry about the back. All right, so insert image, import the top view. Click on the picture and drag. All right, this is a, uh, we need to rotate. So uh, we need to get the width. Uh, all right. All right, first thing we do, we need to dimension the rotation. All right, so we put dimension on here and here, set that to zero. It's not spinning because this has the horizontal constraint, so we delete that. So, and then it spins. All right, we need to find out the width. The width of the car, you need to go to uh, the front sketch. All right, we added that and we're gonna go, let's see, so 155, 151 for the width. All right, this needs to be 151. And then we dimension from here, half of 151 is, uh, so we got, 50, 75, 75.5. Okay. 75. Okay, let's uh, put the size here. So this is minus three. So we just put this dimension again, so 151 there. And then we're gonna set the dimension from the middle to the side. This should be 75 and we accept. And click on the top plane and just drag this box around. All right, we're ready to uh, start the 3D modeling. Press F to sit in the middle. All right, uh, we're just gonna finish this for the for the first video. I uh, click on the link for the next video.